I've lost you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mum. Some of you probably met her before, mm. otherwise known as Anne. <laughs> we like <laughs> <That's> the name. <laughs> <laughs> we always get that one in because uh, it's a common thing that it's isn't true, it? Yeah. Even even a family we've yeah. known her all the life spell it wrong. Yeah, they still spell it wrong. Yeah, but it's yeah. Anne without an E. So, yeah. AKA Kerry's mum. Mm. So yeah, I'm Kitty Stitcher, otherwise known as Kerry. Um, so yes, I have a very special guest star today because mm. you all ask about her either on here or on Instagram. Um, but mum isn't in the 21st century, you don't no, have uh, internet, don't want to do you? Be. No, no. <laughs> no, so I know a lot of you have asked like if she's got her own Instagram or if she does floss tube, but uh, the answer is no, no. <laughs> then no. you never will, will no. you? <laughs> no. So, um, so yeah, so, um, but I know you've all seen her pictures on my Instagram because we always put them on, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Um, and you all ask about her, so, um, mm -hmm. so I've, I've, Cajoled her, yeah. reluctantly, reluctantly, very reluctantly, <laughs> into yeah. doing a floss tube video. Mm -hmm. So we've both got some bits to show you. Mm -hmm. All in a big pile next to me. Yeah. Mum's brought a couple of her. Yeah, because I only do one at a time. So, which is what I always did for which... twenty odd years before fi finding floss this, tubes. This was the last. And we've not, oh, oh yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll oh. do it in a minute. Um, yeah, so she's brought a couple of her FOs, and we've taken a picture of her whip because it's too much to bring it's too, that it's down. It's too big and, to bring down. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, like you, like she's usually comes and goes on the bus, but she got a lift with my brother today. But she's still got to go home on the bus, and it's just too it's much. Too for much you to bring down. To yeah. bring, yeah. but before my brother left, um, we got him to take a photo. Of her current whip because um, yeah because your phone doesn't take these my phone photos. doesn't take decent photos Mum, no. mum's phone is one of my really old oh. mobile phones so old I can't even remember how how old but I think and it, it's still going strong yeah. yeah but I think it was one of the first phones that you could sort of like take photos on so but they're rubbish yeah, yeah. well you can just about make well, out what about, it is yeah. but it, it certainly won't be good enough quality no. to put on here. No. So um, your current whip is by, is it Mystic Stitch? It is Mystic Stitch, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's called um, Pink Reflections, is it? Pink Reflection. Pink Reflection, mm. yes. And um, we bought that from the lovely Colin at mm. um, is it Country, Country Designs, Designs, isn't yeah. it? Which I'll, yeah. I'll link below. Because um, we love buy it, buying from Colin. Cause yeah, he's, so he's nice. really helpful. He's so yeah. nice and um, he kits everything up for you as well. Mm. And in fact, even if it, because like they do Heaven and Earth, Mystic Stitch, Artsy, um, you know, all the, the big ones, all the charts. But even if it's a chart that he doesn't have, he can either get it for you or if you already have the chart and you want it kitted, if you just send him the, um, it's just like the floss yeah. usage yeah. part and he'll yeah. kit it all he's, up he's for really, you. He's really, good. He yeah, is. Really he's helpful. lovely, such mm -hmm. a lovely chap. He doesn't, he's not on Facebook or anything like that, which is a shame because mm -hmm. I think really you could make a lot, lot more business because, yeah. um, sorry, you're perched on the bed and there's a cat behind you just zooming around. around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if we're a bit lopsided. <laughs> it's probably about to be come get That's it straight. I know, we've <laughs> tried everything, haven't we? But Because uh, usually I put you on top of my bedding box and I sit on the floor, but... I don't, don't like getting on the floor because <laughs> oh, I get it back up again. <laughs> yeah, bless her. Well, my new eyes struggle, but anyway, we're getting off topic. Yeah, but Colin at Country Designs, um, he is he is online, um, so I'll put his website below, and you can also contact contact him and go on his mailing list for a catalogue, and he does a couple of catalogues a year, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. And he does some offers too, which yeah. we've taken advantage well, of, haven't yeah. we? Oh, yeah. I didn't get that other one out. Never mind, I'll put a picture in, you know, the other, oh, the... Never mind. The big one, one, the big one of the, the falling leaves. Yeah, right. but never mind. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me, me and Mum, we we can like talk in code to each other, can't we? She'll be like, oh, you know that thing, then, and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, that one, yeah, yeah. We're talking, we can talk in code. Me and Mum, I think most people will know what we're talking about. Mm. But have a sip of our drinks. Oh so. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are our minds. I'd rather be cross stitching. Mum loves cross stitching. Cross -stitch, yeah. <laughs> I've got um, a collection of mugs from uh, from this place, cafepress.co.uk. The art, there's also one in America, cafepress.com. And they do, they brand everything. You know, you can put anything on. And You've got a good collection now, haven't you? <laughs> they had yeah. an offer on not so long ago. Yeah. So, But I've just got some hot honey and lemon today because um, I've had a 
a bit of a chest infection, which I'm just on antibiotics for. Mm. Mm. But yes, we're getting off track here. It's going to be like this all the way through, mm. I think. Yeah, so you're doing Pink Reflections by Mystic Stitch. Mm. Um, and I'll put a picture of her progress in here. And how many pages is it you've done now? Um, I think I'm on page four. So you're on page four. And when did you start it? Um, the fourth, what's, what month are we, June? June. Fourth of May, I think it was. Fourth of May. So yeah. one month, she's on page four and she thinks she's not a fast well, stitcher. Yeah. Mm. She just won't have it. <laughs> but I mean, as you can see, it's beautiful. And then um, the picture of the, fin the finished project project I mean when you see the picture mystic stitch do horrendous pro the you know the pattern pictures are awful terrible they <laughs> yeah are, they really awful. are they don't do any of them yeah any if, if you just picked it up as a pattern looks at the you front wouldn't you, even, think, you nah. wouldn't even choose it no. no no um but skipping ahead to should we skip that no we won't no I'll, I'll show you my whips I was going to skip ahead to months finished ones but I won't I'll mm. I'll show you my whips I've only got two on, well, I've got four whips, but I'm only actually working on two um, because I'm trying to get that down because, like I said, mum does one at a time. And yeah. I mean, yeah. I've been stitching for 30 years now and I only ever did one at a time up until finding yeah. um, like floss tube and everything. And then I went a bit mad and I think I got up to seven whips, which was an awful lot for me. Um, and I've now got down to four. The idea is I'm getting these two out of the way, then I'll move on to the other two. And I think I'm going to settle at two because I think it's just nice to have a bit of a change. But uh, but yeah, I'll show you the two that I'm working on. The first one, which I'm looking around, oh, it's behind me. <laughs> the first one is. Got cut at yourself oh, it's got stuck right? on my yeah, needle minders. Oh, I've in fact it's taken one off. That's. Uh, like the little cat, but I think the picture's gone a bit, a bit from the little cat. Um, get back on there. Um, I can't put a picture in of the finished product because I can't get a decent picture of it. Um, I've looked everywhere and I can't find a decent picture. Um, but this is the Hummingbird Lace Mandala by Chatelaine. Um, I'm doing it on 32 count black Belfast. Never again. <laughs> Never again. I tell you. I know um, me and Sydney Stitcher on on um, Instagram. We like we we talk a lot, and I know she's mentioned it to her stitching buddies who she meets up with about me doing this one on black, and it's not going to happen again. <laughs> and I, I just don't like this material as well. It's really thin. It's very uneven, but. The only, the best way I've found of doing it is to, I bought a new um, daylight lamp for what is going to be my craft room when my, my niece is moving to university in September. Like she lives sort of like half the week with me, half the week with her dad. So I'm going to be uh, turfing her out <laughs> and turning her room into a craft room. So I bought a new craft light, but it's coming really handy because I'm putting it behind it so I can see the holes through it. But this is where we are. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, if you could get like that side of it. Um, and I didn't pick up anything to put behind it. Oh, hang on. The chair's on it. Let's stick that behind. But that is where I am. Oh, can you just unroll it a bit more from the top? <laughs> That's where I am at the moment. The inner part is all complete, including the smaller beads. There's still big beads to go on it. And I've started working on the bottom half, just, um, I'm, I'm just working on the last colour to go in this bit now. It's got one dinky dye, two Karen water lilies and two petite treasure braids in there. Um, and then I'm going to put the little beads in. And then I'm going to start working on the outer border and then when all that's complete move to the top. Ooh, it's heavy. It is heavy actually, <laughs> I know. Yeah. And then I'm going to come back at the end and put all the bigger beads on. But yeah, that's it so far. 
I mean, I love it, and I mean, it just doesn't do it any justice looking at it there. I think we always say that, don't we? But it yeah. doesn't do yeah. it any justice, no. does no, it? it doesn't at all. It is so pretty, and it's so sparkly. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> I would show you a close-up, but I just don't think I've got it in me, to be perfectly honest. I get... Yeah, with, got it. Yeah, with having the Ellers down loss and chronic fatigue, I do get tired very easily, and it's amazing what effort it takes. Just to hold that up. Um, my other whip, um, now I've not really touched this much. I was hoping to have done a page by the time you saw it, but I've not quite done it. But the reason was, was because I was work before I got this other daylight lamp, I was working on my chatelaine downstairs. And then when the daylight was going, I then came upstairs and I sat in bed with, I've got some little clip on um, little like daylight lamp things. And um, then I'd sit in bed and do this, but obviously, like it doesn't. Well, I mean, even when I come to bed at ten, there's still light in the sky. Um, so I'm just not getting up to bed to stitch this now. So I haven't managed to do the page that I wanted, but I have there is still progress on it since last time. So this is. Oh God, I've just not got the strength. To see. My wrists are hurting. You know, after yeah. picking that thing up. What did it to get this on? Yeah, sorry, I have arthritis in my wrists and my hands and it's a bit painful. Yeah, this is um, Mini Butterfly Pink by Hayd. I just can't get it off. There. I won't unravel it all because there's no point, it's just um, plain fabric. But um, this is where she's up to at the moment. I've done like three, well, almost three pages on the top I've just got one more column to put in there and I've done one one page down so I've just got one more page have you got the picture of it um, oh I'll in, I'll insert that afterwards actually um, I've got one more page to go along here and then about a bit of a column and then I can start coming down but yeah it doesn't look like anything at the moment but it looks so pretty on there it always it looks does, prettier yeah. doesn't it than actually yeah. in Seen it in it does, but I do think you need to put the picture on so you know yeah. what it is. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah it's um, yeah, Mini Butterfly Pink by Hayde. I can't remember who the artwork's by either. I'll sort that out afterwards. And that's in um, so much to love like bag. It's one of the one of the the big bags. I can't remember the name she gives the the bigger ones with the big bottom. Um, because that's an eleven by eleven Q snap and it fits in just nicely. So that's all we've got for whips. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I've not had any finishes since the last time because obviously I've been busy enough working on those. Um, but Mum has brought, is it two? Two, you yeah. Brought, her two yeah. latest. <laughs> I could have brought the lot but they yeah. were heavy. <laughs> and you'll have to say how long it took you to do each one as well because... Well, I can't uh, remember well, about, I can remember this one, I can't mm -hmm. remember about the other one. I think it's about the same time actually. Oh, that onion lemon's so good. It's proper honey and proper lemon in hot water. I don't know whether so. it's up to it. Yeah. This one is... Winter Windmill. Winter Windmill by... Is it Mystic Stitch? Mystic or Stitch again. By Mystic yeah. Stitch. So, let me just hold it up. So, how long did that one take you, Mum? Um, four months four and two months. days. That's all. And how many pages was it? Um, 24. But she doesn't stitch fast at all, oh. do you? Yeah. <laughs> But as you can see, that's absolutely beautiful, and you're going to get that framed. Yes, aren't I you? am. Yes, and um, I'm going to hang it on a wall, and then my brother's going to have it. Isn't yes, it's long one of term. his favourites. Yeah, yeah, because he lives near a windmill. Well, he does at the he moment. Did, does, he's, well, he's, he's moving, moving next yeah. week, but he, he yeah. lives near a windmill, so and he loves winter. Yeah, yeah, he does. It's his favourite season. So, so. that's that one. Because uh, I don't know if you remember from Instagram a while ago, um, I showed you a picture of one that she'd finished called Heaven on Earth which uh, my lovely friend Mary Rose from um, Stitch Bliss Corner, I think, I've forgotten your name, Mary Rose on FossTube, um, she's working on it at the moment and that's above your fire isn't it at the moment, it is, which I love, it's one of my favourites yeah. that one, and like yeah. that one's going to come to me afterwards and that one, this one's yeah. going to be for my brother. So this, and this, this is one that I would like framed, this but is, which one is this? I can't remember. Like the oh, um, I've got Gardens Garden of, of the, the Villa Meltsy. Meltsy, was it? Yes. I was, think. was this artsy? This is artsy. Yeah. Yeah. This is an artsy one. Look which I that. think is very pretty. 
Isn't it beautiful? And this didn't take you long either. That was, I think that was five months, that one, just over, just between four and five months, I think. And how one. many pages was it? Can't remember, to be perfectly oh, honest, that one. It looks beautiful. And then the, and the pattern, well, it was a kit again, it was from Colin, yes, wasn't it? Was, it? Yeah, it yeah. It was um, a Mother's Day present last year after yes, my and, brother. And the wasn't it? Winter Windmill was a mother's. Was, what, was, who bought me that? One of you did. Was that? It must have been off Ian. It was off Ian, yes, it was. Yeah, my brother, yeah. it must have been. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm all, um, the one I'm working on now was a present for this Mother's Day off Ian. Which one is it? The, um, is it again? the oh, pink, pink, pink reflection. reflection. Yeah. And she already knows about it, so I'm not. I'm not uh, dropping a, a secret. But no. um, it's her birthday in August, and it, it's a, a milestone birthday. It is. I it? don't mind. Yes, you're as old as you are, so yeah. age doesn't mean anything well, do you want to me. Tell them? Yes, I'm seventy. I don't think so. Would seventy you? in August. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the first thing she said when I put the camera on was, "Oh, I do look old." I'm like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> no, you no. don't." Mom. So um, there was an offer, Colin had an offer on for um, three for two, and in fact I've forgotten that other one as well, <laughs> you know the one, my birthday present. Oh one. yeah, yeah. I'll, put, I'll have to put a picture of that in, um, because my friend bought me one for my birthday, and then I bought one, mum one for her birthday, and then you got one free, so... I got one that I that I really wanted, but I've not I've forgotten both of them. They're mm. in the other room, so I'm not going to get them. But um, the one we've got, Mum, is it a Mystic Stitch one again? I think it is. I, think isn't it? It? I can't yeah. really remember that. It's by Mystic Stitch, I'm pretty sure, and it's called um, Blue Bells. Blue in Bells the Wood. in the Wood. Yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah. I'll I'll insert a picture here. But there is a reason why I wanted that one. Yeah. Because it, well, it's um, where I come from. It's a little place called Lempster in Herefordshire, and when I was little, um, a few miles out, there was a, a lovely wood where we used to go to as children. We used to go and pick bluebells and primroses, which I know you can't do these yes, days. It's illegal. These it's days. illegal, <laughs> but it's, it was beautiful. And you've you've seen it. You've been well, we, yeah, because we also used to go when and we were little. When I saw the picture, it just reminded me of that, so I thought it was nice to have. Yeah. So she didn't know she was getting it. No, but, but I was then, going to buy it. Yeah. So I had to tell her. <laughs> so kind yeah. of spoiled the surprise. Purely for nostalgic reasons, yeah. really, because yeah. it just reminded me of a. Very happy childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, like I so said, when we used to go down and stay with my gran, because like we don't live there now, we live, well, oh, I've always lived up here, but um, mm. I was born up, up um, like near Manchester. Mm. Um, but like for holidays, school holidays and everything, we used to go down and stay with gran, didn't we? Yeah, and, yeah. And we'd, we'd go off up Dinmore and, you know, go through mm. the woods. And, and it's just the way it is it's a little pathway mm. through the woods with all the blue bells and it just reminds me oh, of it's, it's beautiful yeah. isn't it because in fact yeah. everywhere whenever we see anywhere with blue bells yeah. it always brings yeah. us back doesn't yeah. it so i thought it'd be very nice mm. to have and no. especially since it's a milestone birthday mm. as well and there was somewhere near there as well we used to go strawberry picking as yes, well yes just across we? just over the hill yes. yeah yeah i used to go around yeah. there oh, yeah those good the good days good yeah. times yeah. <laughs> um so yeah so but i've left i'll insert pictures um of the ones that i've got but i can't i can't one of one of them's a haid a mini haid and it's blue and it's got a fairy on it but i can't remember oh, the name of the little cat yeah it, it's just it's so me it's it's a well blue i found that one you, yeah you found yeah. it and then of course when she showed it me i was like oh, God, get it. but that this was from colin as well it was in colin's catalog and it's a mm -hmm. mini haid and i i want to i want to it's something it's called blue fairy or something. I don't like know. That. I know it's something fairy. Yeah, I'll but... find it. But um, it's yeah a blue back black blue background. But the fairy on it has got purple hair, which of course purple is my favourite colour. She's got butterfly wings. Which and the butterfly wings are beautiful. Yeah. But what what I notice more than anything, um, there's a little cat just sat on mm. the skirt, isn't and it? And it looks really? just like one of the cats that I lost mm. called March. And in fact. Amy, if you're watching, hi Amy, Amityville, um, he was her favourite cat and I sent her a picture of this and I said, look who's on this cross stitch mm. and straight away she came by with, it's March. Mm. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, because like the butterfly wings have, like butterflies have a special significance for me as well because mm. um, I've got like a butterfly tattoo um, 
as well so it was just perfect so yes we got that one and then that one for mum and then another one which I've been looking at which is called leaf peeping which I don't know why it's called that but the picture but on the pattern beautiful. looks yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah. But the actual... Because <laughs> it's a mystic stitch yeah, one, so... Yeah, the pattern does so not awful. do it. They just don't do them justice no, at all. But I'll, really I'll insert pictures at the end, I think, rather than keep chopping and, and mm -hmm. everything with this. Um, oh, and I wanted to say a special mention to my friend Ivy in America. Um, me and Ivy's mum talk a lot. We've both got Ella's down loss. And Ivy wanted to send me a letter. So she sent me a lovely letter and she sent me a bracelet which I've been wearing ever since which actually I've got a new tattoo and it goes perfectly with. You see it's uh, rainbow paw prints going up to the rainbow bridge and in fact only two weeks after I had that done I lost little honey, my old cat. She, mm. she went to sleep in my arms so but yeah as you can see Ivy I have not taken that off and that's, no, she that's without... Yeah. No not even in the shower even mm. comes in the shower with me and it just goes perfectly with my tattoo um and then as well as she wrote me a lovely letter what did you do with it i oh. have to show you this picture i love this bit i've been showing it to everybody who's come um because ivy's favorite cat is roger you know sorry if you're bouncing a bit daisy's just having a, a clean and she drew me this picture of roger and she said, Roger is her favourite cat because he's so fluffy. And I love it. I just absolutely love it. It's brilliant. And she, she signed it at the bottom. And everybody who's come to the house, I've been showing them this picture of Roger. So thank you, Ivy. And there, there will be a letter coming back, I promise you. Definitely can't, can't let that go. Um, I'll just show you a few things that I've bought haul-wise. You've not, apart from your new cross stitch you've not got anything new have you not bought anything no not that no. i can think of i've got things that i'm thinking about but i'm, <laughs> I'm fighting it <laughs> but um i said i bought that new light which obviously i've not bought up because it's just a light <laughs> with a magnifier um this was a birthday gift and i'm going to use this when i do my new uh, my new craft room it's just a box and of course it looks like it's got cross stitch on, which I really like. And that was off my, my carer. Oh, well, she did get me some, she got me some lovely bedding, which you're sat on at the moment. But yeah, she got, she saw that and she, of course she just thought of me. So she popped that in. So that's going to go in my new craft room when I get that sorted out. Um, got a few bits of fabric. I'm sorry, I'm not getting them out of the wrappers because I just can't get them back in in the same way. Um, but this one is from the Jodry Designs, which one is it? At the moment, I mean, she's doing two fabric of months. One's like a rainbow one, and then the other's, I think, I think this is the limited edition one that I'm always in. Pretty nice, actually. I know, it's mm. beautiful. And this is called Spring Fay, and I get the, the thread of the month as well. You can't really see the sparkle, oh, can you, you see the sparkle? You can, yeah, it's it, if yeah. you're moving it. That's 28 count. Um, Brittany and then this one she's doing colours of the rainbow so every, every month you get if, if you buy it you get a different colour of the, the rainbow so that one's a yellow one and you can just see the variation in that and it's got bits of green in it and again that's um, 28 count opal Brittany and then I'm also in don't ask me chromatic alchemy <laughs> I'm also in her fabric of the month and this I get in a 32 count this is an opal Murano not that bowled over by this colour I'm say it's not I'll, I'll probably find some use for it but and I mean it's my own fault because she shows pictures of what what it will look like on the different fabrics and then you 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 don't you're not under an obligation to buy it but I seem to have a bit of a problem when it comes to buying fabric don't you do <laughs> I think you could start up your own shop I could <laughs> But um, so I bought it anyway and what I really like about Chromatic Alchemy and I actually heard somebody else mention this and I can't remember who it was, it might have been um, is it Lisa Stitching Bug I think she's called, um, but she does them in biodegradable envelopes, they're not plastic, it's, is it corn starch? Vegetable starch. Oh I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah compostable and biodegradable vegetable starch. So, you know, more more companies really 
need to do that and um, I've also got one on the way because that, that was Lisa Stitching Bug I think she's called but that was her she was saying about um, Crafty Kitten does these mystery boxes which you can get one a month so I just have to go and order one <laughs> but uh, that, that's on its way so I'll have to show you that next time so there's those um, my friend my friend's friend oh god I nearly fell off my chair then my friend's friend um, is quite good on a sewing machine um, and I asked her, she's made me a few project bags in the past. She doesn't, she doesn't do it as a business, so please don't ask me. She doesn't do it as a business. She just does it as a bit, a bit of, a bit of cash, you know. <laughs> so um, I needed something that, like my, what's that frame? The Chatelaine. Yeah, oh, yeah, Chatelaine, my Chatelaine. Yeah. Um, it's on my Lowry stand, but I have the long arm adapter on it as well because it's so long, obviously. Um, but like when I finish stitching at night, I don't want to take everything off and put it all away. You know, it's easy just to cover it up and then so I can just pick it up again the next day. So I was just using like a scarf, like putting a, you know, like a silk scarf kind of thing and putting a scarf over it, which was all well and good, but it didn't fit them properly. And, and also if any of the cats got near it with the claws, you know, the claws would be in it. And I'm not putting all this work into that Chatelaine for one of the cats to destroy it. And my friend said she had a special project deserves a special cover. So I said, yes, it does. So um, she spoke to her friend and I'd sort of come up with a design of something that I thought would be good. Um, and anyway, I went on to Elephant in My Pocket, I think it's called, which is um, a website in the UK that does fabrics. Um, and fortunately, the fabric I wanted was actually on sale. So I think I ordered five backwaters. Um, and this is what we came up with. So, as you can see, it's a big bag, it's got yeah, cats it's on it, too. yeah, it's quilted, it's quilted and it's so, yeah, so yeah. if one of the cats, you know, should get the claws into it, the, the claws aren't going to go through, um, it's just got some, some flowers inside it, but then what, what I did, I sort of wanted a pocket, and then at the end, I've just got a flap to come over, so like the arm of my Lowry stand goes through there, and it closes around it and just sits over and protects it mm. um, and also if I, I have got one like my biggest whip that is in retirement at the moment which um, is huge which is huge um, it does extend at the moment I have it on the tightest button but it will extend a bit and come onto that one so it should fit yeah yeah and I won't tell you what I paid her for it because I think she just way under charges I did pay her more than what she asked but it was an absolute, sh and she does a good job as well, better than I could do, that's for sure. Um, she also made me, I've got right, card, I don't I'm going to I'm gonna tip off this chair. There was, <laughs> there was um, some fabric left over, so she made me a grind guard to go on the bottom of my stand. And she made me a little drawstring bag, which at the moment I've got my... Uh, I'm keeping my chatelaine beads in there. All my sparkles from the chatelaine. So they're all in there. So, so that was very nice of her. Um, oh, and she's made some project bags for you as well. Yeah, she? I've got a few yeah. couple of them. And yeah, some of them yeah. she does like felt applique on and like mm. I did is it um hedgehog one? Hedgehog I got and a daisy one. And a daisy and I've got one with a cat yeah. on. They're brilliant. Mm. So good. Um I treated myself to a birthday present because you've got to buy yourself a birthday present, haven't you? And I got from Bags Plus, which I'll link below. This is her biggest floss buddy. It holds, is it a 180? Could be wrong. I think it's 180. And it's got these lovely skeleton cats on. Just excuse all the cat hairs. I did try and get some off it. And inside, do you mind holding one of these? Which I think is a wonderful idea. Yes, and I've got both my whips in here, everything that I need. It's quite, quite easy to access yeah, as well. Because in this pocket, there's actually two pockets. There's another one, another one just behind. It's a bit difficult to see. Yeah. So I've got my Chatelaine, can you hold it up a bit? Yes. Yeah. My um, Chatelaine hard copy in there and my Hayde hard copy behind it. And then in this first bit, you, you can even tuck, I know it looks a bit of a mess, but that's because I've been working with my specialty threads. Um, I just use the 
like the car bit to, to tuck in. So it even holds the specialty threads in. So I've got all my bobbins for my chatelaine there and there. The this is a scissor fob, but I've used it for my dropped. Yes, yeah, sorry, I've just dropped a bobbin on the floor. I use it for my um, treasure braid. It's got a pocket here which I've got so because I'm I'm generally a paper and pen person. We both are, aren't we? Mm. Although I am working my chatelaine mm. off the iPad, which I must admit is nice but I'm still going to be going back to paper and pen so I keep those there and then this is my hayed side and that's there and there then there's some bigger pockets here which I've, that's just something I, I pop on my fabric that holds my scissors got a few spare bits and bobs there some highlighters some snippers just hold it on them and some needles so yeah so I love that. Oh, that's that's um, an art capture. That's the thing I stick on with my scissors in. So that's that. Sorry, Emmy's just sneaking down the stairs. <laughs> are you are you going, Emmy? Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. Okay, love you. Love you too. Bye. 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 Um, and the last thing was from I ordered these from the Fat Quarter shop in America and I'm sure you've seen them all over Floss Tube but I got the Eat Sleep Stitch Repeat bag which is a really good quality it isn't is it? It's a good quality it's bag. Fantastic yeah. quality yeah. bag. It's got um, a drawstring. drawstring top and it's got a zip compartment there and yeah I just I couldn't resist it and then to go with that <laughs> And I bought one for and Mum she, as well. She also bought one for me. As yeah, well. it's um, stitching with the housewives tote bag, and it's a it's a really good size tote bag. It's I like tote bags that have got a zip on. Yeah, and not many do come no, with a zip. No, no, it's mm. yeah. There's a like you can see. There's a zip on top, and there's also a zipped mm. in it's a pocket. A in a pocket as well. And it's yeah. got a flat bottom to it, mm. and it just fits nicely just over your shoulder. Oh, like the idea for mum was for carrying books. I have trouble because with my mum's only short. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. it's still it's too long. long. <laughs> but uh, yeah. but the thought was there, um, and I think that's all I've got to show you. Yeah. Um, upcoming plans: just continue <laughs> with my chatelaine. Um, I probably am putting my mini hayde on the back burner for the moment, but that's just because I'm I just. I'm really enjoying my chatelaine, as, as difficult as this fabric is. Um, I'm really enjoying my chatelaine, and while I've got the lighter nights, because like I say, I mean, I do come to bed at 10, I, I do come to bed quite early, but then I, I'm up early the next day. I can be downstairs stitching by 8 a.m. Um, so yeah, while I've got the lighter nights, I don't think I'm really going to be working that much on my hate. So I'd love to say to you that I'll have done another page by the next time I see you, but I think I could be lying. Mm. there so um so yeah so just continue working on that really and try not to buy anything <laughs> yeah <coughs> excuse me which i can't promise but uh and you'll just continue I'm zipping just, through yes your i'm song, just yeah. doing one at a time yeah because what's your next one you've got like there's um, one you've got lined up next oh i can't remember what it's called that one with the those pretty colors with the swans Oh, that what sweet, sweet remembrance. Sweet remembrance. Yeah, that's another mystery. Yeah, <laughs> which is quite different for me because it's. Um, I'm all Excuse sort me. of um, like pinks and blues and purples, whereas this is quite strange colours, yeah, really. Yeah, because like, and like you tend to go like for scenery yeah, and things like yeah, that. I whereas do. this, I'll I'll insert a picture at the end. Yeah, it's, it's um. But it is different for yeah, me. Colour wise, it's different it's for me. Well, it is pretty. It? Yeah. 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 Was that a present, or did you buy that yourself? No, I. Did buy that one myself. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah. Oh, is, is that the one you were going to buy when you were going to yeah. buy the, the? So I thought, since yeah. I was going to buy one, <laughs> even though it was bought for me, I'm thinking, well, I was going to buy one anyway. Yeah. So, so she I bought that one. She instead. ruined her birthday <laughs> present. Oh. So in fact, you've just ruined your Christmas I know, present. I have, as well. yes, <laughs> yes, I have. I'm really, really <laughs> ahead of things this year, and I've finished. I've nearly finished my Christmas shopping, and we're only in June. <laughs> but um, but yeah, Mum knew what I was getting her because. Like I'd I'd rather buy Mum something that she wants, but something that she wouldn't necessarily buy for herself. And 
like you say, you don't really need like. I lots don't of need bits anything. No, and... when you get to my age, you don't need anything really at all. Yeah. So, I but... mean, you have kitted out a few cross stitch yeah. for me, you know, patterns that I yeah, had. Yeah, in fact, I did that for Mother's yeah. Day. I put an IOU in in her mother. Well, I did. I did make. Oh, I didn't. I, I should have shown you those as FOs. Mm. I made her two little Mill Hill ornaments, um, and then I put an IOU in her. Mother's Day card and said, I owe you kitting up one cross stitch. And project. it was the, so it was, it was the Hayd one, wasn't it? The flower oh, one. Yeah, it? got, it's like it a watercolour flower, yeah. isn't it? Like a yeah. vase of flowers. So. so at least I'm all kitted out for yeah. that. So that's another one to start. Yeah, but this one, it actually isn't stitching related. But um, last year I bought a, I, I got it from an antique site. It was um, you know, Lady and the Tramp. It was the, the male dog. Scamp, scamp the puppy scamp yeah mm. um and it's the they called it a blow up series it was made by wade who were a, a company based mm. in the i UK. used to have the little tiny ones when i was growing up the whimsical ones I think uh, which i did the silly thing because i used to let terry and her brother play with them <laughs> oh the cat's and moving of course they were lost well they were broken <laughs> yeah but um, we, we've uh, we've gone down a bit in the world oh gosh yes, we are Hang on. Way. so um and I didn't know that you could get this size, which it's not, they're not huge, no. but they're not tiny either, no, are they're they? Probably not, not, not much bigger than yeah, the yeah. size of the mug, yeah. Um, well, in the old money, they're around about four and a half inches high, yeah. four and a half inches wide. So I don't know what that is in current uh, measurements, I don't know. It'd be about 11, 11 centimetres, something like that. I work in centimetres. Yeah, because I think 10, ce can only see 10, ce oh, <laughs> ten, ten centimetres is four inches, isn't yeah, it? So yeah, it'd be about 11 Yeah. About 11 so anyway, long story. But, yeah. we, um, I got her the scamp for Christmas last year, because you'd seen it, hadn't you? And mm. really loved it and said, oh, you know, I wouldn't buy it. And anyway. it was my favourite character, yeah, that. But yeah. she went home and I got it for her. But she didn't know anything about it and she just had this big box. It was huge box, Christmas. massive box. And I was like, oh, you'll have to have a bit of a dig around because there's loads of polystyrene bits in it. Then mm. in the middle was that. And we both cried, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> I'm not somebody that cries a lot, but, well, you aren't really. I know, I know, but it was just absolutely yeah. thrilled to bits with it. But anyway, we were looking again and, and we found Lady. So so I said to her, I said, well, I, you know, if you want it, you know, I'll buy it for Christmas. Because it's like you said, you, you really wanted to buy it, but you knew you didn't I, I, need and it. And I don't and need it. Yeah, I wanted, so. wanted it, but I didn't need it. So yeah. I bought it her. Anyway, it came the other day and she had a look at it and loved it. Because it was perfect, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it was 1962, the mark on that one. So it's like 50 odd years yeah, old. Yeah, it's absolutely not a mark perfect. On it. Well, the other one was yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so I said, well, you might as well take it because we've only got your head again. Oh, got my head. Yeah. So I said, you might as well take it. So you're taking it home, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we shall stop waffling now. We're a bit lopsided. Yes, and we are. Daisy's disappeared under the bed now. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'll hope to see you again soon. Mum will have probably finished another two projects by that time. I don't time. know, not the way I'm going for this one. It's... Yeah, yeah, because I mean, it's taken her four weeks to do four pages, yeah. and that's just awful. Yes, but I'm, I'm working on my garden, aren't I? I know, moment, yeah. So. Yeah, she's, she's got a lovely garden, and I'm spending a lot of time in there. Yeah, at the been busy doing things there, yeah. haven't you? So, yeah. but I mean, you don't really pick it up till later, do no. you? In the day. But there again, I don't go to bed early. No, I'm she's not, up. I don't sleep. So. No, we, we, we're the opposite. When, when mm. I'm getting up, Mum's just falling asleep. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so we'll both just continue podding mm. on. I'll plod on with my chatelet and you'll plod on with your pink, pink reflection. reflection. Not, 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 yeah. yeah, so so that's it. So I'll try and come back at the end of next month, but it just depends. It'd be lovely if I'd finished my chatelet by then, but... I'm not doing well with it though. It's got me. Yeah, it is. I've it's not done so it. much the last two days because I felt a bit rough with my chest and I've not been sleeping well because I keep waking up coughing. But hopefully the antibiotics are kicking in now. I'll start to feel better. But yeah, <laughs> Daisy's his head <laughs> just there. She's stuck. Oh yeah, you, you can't see what we're looking at. But and her sister's right now. We're we looking at you, Daisy. Are you gonna come up here? Come say hi. That's Daisy's tail. <laughs> Hang on, let's move the camera. Hey, where's Daisy Moo? Hmm. Oh, Daisy Moo, because she looks like a cow with the black bits on her. Are you turning around, Daisy Moo? I'm going to turn. Daisy Moo. Yeah, with a little black nose. She's so cute. That's hmm. Daisy Moo. Yeah, anyway, 
I shall leave you to it. It's been a long one for me today, this. But saying, oh, I've not done the tag. <laughs> it took me ages to find it. Hang on, we've not finished. We've not finished. Let me see. Not done the tag. What's the tag? The questions I was going to ask. Oh. You. Do you know, and I've I spent ages looking fed through up these. By now, <laughs> yeah, this is the Joy of Cross Stitch tag, and I'm just going to ask Mum these questions, and she's going to answer. So, how did you learn to stitch? By watching my mum. Um, she was very clever. She used to do. She used to do a lot of knitting, which I do knit, a lot of embroidery, a lot of cross stitch, um, tapestry. crochet, tapestry, and really it was just the dumb thing you just used to watch your mum when you used to do it so but i got out of the habit of doing it until you started again didn't mm. Cause you got me going again didn't yeah. you yeah because i learned when i was at primary school we all had to do these coasters with um different styles of stitching around and i really enjoyed it um so then it was christmas 1989 christmas 1989 um, mum and dad got me, it was a long stitch kit, a woolen long stitch kit. Which oh, I remember that one. Yeah, yes. I have shown yeah. it you in the past because I've still got it and yeah. I completed it in next to no time. Thoroughly enjoyed it. even French knots in wool and I was only 10, 11 years old. Mm. 1988, not 89. Right. Yeah, it was 88 because I was still at primary school. And that was it after that. <laughs> mm. I just, I, I sort of went from there onto the cross stitch. And that, that was it, so we're not, we're not we're here from, we're here from mum. So, um, have you ever taught anyone how to stitch? Well, not really, have I? No. No? I've tried, but like my grandchildren weren't interested. Yeah, I've so. tried with my nieces. So yeah. Like um, when you stitch, do you like to watch TV, listen to music, or just have quiet? No, I like, I like background noise, but not so much music, but I always have the TV on in the background. I might not be following it fully, but I just like to hear the, the speech, really. But you can't stitch and talk, can you? <laughs> no, no, I must say I would rather be on my own when I'm stitching. <laughs> Charming that. Daisy's bottom. I don't know what it is with my channel in kitty books, honestly. Um, when you use a kit, which company or companies do you like the best? I do like Mystic Sips because I do think that their pictures look very realistic when they're done. Mm. But then Hade's good and I do like That's the artsy it. ones yeah. as well. Yeah, so it's really those three are all sort yeah. of like equal. And like we can bunch that into kit because we always yeah. get them. Did, you used to do a lot of the gold collection at one stage. I've got loads of But them. I still think um, the other ones have the edge on yeah. looking more real. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've got loads of yeah. Dimensions Gold. Um, anyway. What are your favourite designs to stitch? I love anything with um, colour wise, usually pinks, purples, blues, but I do like trees and scenes very much so, more so than anything mm. else. Oh, and I, I did do a lot of uh, mirabilia, the fairies. Yeah, like, fact, I've got angels, like an yeah. art gallery going up my stairs, which is all my mirabilia. The mirabilia gallery. Yeah, but I've got, got two. But I do, to I mean, do, to be I honest, think. there is one that I have seen that I would like. And there again, it's an avenue of trees, you know, with all the yellows. Oh, that's. Um, I don't, can't remember what make that I, one I was. I think that's a mystic stitch. But mirabilia, you have got two kitted up, haven't I you? I have got two kitted up ready to do, which yeah. I did have as presents. Yeah, which is yeah. Bliss Fairy and Petal Fairy. Petal Fairy, I yeah. think, yeah. Um, how do you get ideas or inspiration for your projects? Just kind of what you like. It's just it? what I like mm -hmm. doing. I find that you can lose yourself when you're cross stitching if you've got any worries or <laughs> or concerns. Mm. Um, I find that it does it does help mm. definitely. Yeah, I can lose myself. Um, how do you store or keep your charts? I've got a set of drawers just in my dining room bit, which is just full of all my patterns. I've got them all individually in separate bags. Some of the bags, obviously, the material ones, but um, but they're all there in, in in order that I'm <laughs> supposedly doing them. And then I've got a lovely, colourful set of drawers mm. where I keep all my spare um, threads. Really, I suppose. I'm thinking of getting those for when I do. Yeah, the but um, so what I do when I finish the cross stitch, I will I, I buy little money envelopes uh, and put them. In, 
put the number on, put that in there, and then they're all in, in order. And I've, it's quite a big set of drawers, isn't it? Mm. And it's amazing just how, because I didn't think I'd need that many. It was you suggested getting the big ones, mm. and I'm glad I did, because I think <laughs> I'm going to need them. But it's very useful, because if you do do a kit, and then you, you run out of a thread, chances are that you will find, you know, you have got a little bit of one. Sorry, the, she's got a fascination it, yeah, with licking plastic. Yeah, and I don't plastic. want to, to lick him with Mickey <laughs> cross stitch. Um, do you stitch for yourself or to give to others? I'll be perfectly honest, it's a very selfish thing because I have given away in the past. Not I didn't do them to give away, but when people have liked them, I have given them. But no, I would say I'm a, probably a selfish cross stitch and I like to do what oh, I like to do. And I did do one for my sister-in-law, uh, which she begged me to do, which was a Mirabilia fairy, which I'd already done for myself. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't enjoy doing it for the second time. Mm -hmm. So I've always said that I wouldn't do it again. So no, it's purely a selfish thing I love doing. And I have to say I'm the same as well. Right. Um, when you take your cross-stitch projects in the car to appointments or travelling, how do you carry your supplies? Will you do? And it's something I don't think I can do anywhere else, only at home. I have... I have my own where I set myself up and to be honest I don't think I could stitch mm. anywhere else mm. now. I couldn't take my chatelaine anywhere, certainly not, at but, all. but my other things I do. No. And the last question, what do you enjoy most about stitching? I think this is as I've said before, I, I get enjoyment out of it. I love watching it grow and I like it because I think it's it, it how can I put it? You do lose yourself and as I say I, I am basically a warrior. Mm. Uh, I do That's worry, not so, not, so, not so much about me, but I do worry about my children, mm -hmm. and I find that cross stitching, Even though I'm <laughs> it just takes it just takes the edge off. Yeah, and I have a lot. I do spend a lot of time on my own, mm. and I do find it does it does pass time, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love it. Because mm, I mean, I'm, I I spend a lot of time on my own because, like, <coughs> excuse me, um, with all my problems and what have you, I very rarely leave the house. You know, I can usually count on one hand in a year how many times I leave the house. Um, and it's just like you say, you just, your time flies. It does. I mean, I, I, mm. I can stitch for up to 16 hours a day. I, tend, I can start as early as 8 in the morning and I usually pack up for 10. But I did have one night this week where I was actually up till just before, oh, the dog's slamming. Mm. I was up till just before midnight, so which is late for me. Mm. But, yeah. But well, that is definitely it now. We're at 46 minutes, almost yeah. 47, which is a lot for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to say bye and I'm going to sort out this chaos yeah. now. So yeah. yeah, hope you enjoyed it anyway. And yeah, see mum, yeah. aka Anne without an E. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you all again. Bye. Bye.